Also, part of that foreign aid bill is a measure that would force TikTok's Chinese-based owner to sell the company or face a ban here in the U.S. Former Secretary of State and Fox News contributor Mike Pompeo joins us now. Mr. Secretary, thanks for being here. Jackie, it's great to be with you this morning. So, Mr. Secretary, it was really kind of a genius move of Mike Johnson to slip this into the foreign aid package and send it as part of that deal over to the Senate because the bill that had overwhelmingly passed the House uh, as a standalone bill to force this sale of TikTok was really kind of hanging out in limbo in the Senate. But <laughs> you know well that this, the Trump administration tried to do this before. So there are still some pitfalls ahead. Uh, what do you see happening here potentially? Well, Jackie, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with the progress that's been made. We in the United States have never allowed a foreign adversary to have control of a media entity inside the United States of America. We've never let our enemies communicate directly through a enterprise, a communication. So it used to be in the old days, it was uh, television networks and stations. We didn't let foreign adversaries own those. This is the same idea. We can't let the Chinese Communist Party own a communication mechanism to reach every one of our children, teenagers, people all across America propagandizing against our country and in support of the Chinese Communist Party. So I, I think President Biden will likely sign it today. And then I hope, uh, while this isn't a ban of TikTok, TikTok can still continue to exist. It just cannot be owned by a foreign adversary. It makes perfect sense. It's common sense. And I think the American people across a broad political spectrum support this central idea of making sure that we don't allow Communist Party adversaries to communicate directly with our children. Do you think, though, that there's a chance that there's some court challenge? I mean, especially if there's a clause in there that you can extend the deadline if there's a pending sale. I mean, how, how quickly do you see this actually happening? And what's the risk that some, some leg, uh, litigation gets in the way? Oh, that's, that's our system. Jackie, it's likely the case that there will be some who sue on, on various grounds, could be members of Congress, some of whom don't like this, um, would sue as well. Um, but in the end, I think common sense will prevail. The, the timing is important, but not the most essential in the end. What matters is that we regain U.S. or at least non-adversarial ownership of that communication, that, that important media enterprise that's speaking directly to the American people. I want to get your we'll get thoughts on, on a second issue, on these anti-Israel protests that we're seeing on elite college campuses. Uh, you heard from Senator Tom Cotton uh, saying there should be some consequences. Listen to this. Any of these students who are foreigners here on visas should immediately have their visas revoked by the Biden administration and be promptly deported. They have no right to be here. They certainly have no right to be here spewing anti-Semitic and anti-Israel filth. What's your take on that? Uh, I think Senator Cotton's got it uh, just about right. Maybe, Jackie, we could start, too, by not forgiving their student loans. I mean, there's lots of, there's lots of federal tools to prevent anti-Semitic, violent speech that is threatening Jewish kids on campuses all across America. We see it on Columbia's campus in Yale and even a place that I went to school at Harvard Law School. They had to close Harvard Yard. Uh, that's deeply un-American. They've had to cancel classes at Columbia. Those kids are getting cheated out of their education because a handful of pro-Hamas demonstrators have decided they're going to disrupt these institutions. Let's get control. If it requires the federal government to take action, it absolutely should do so. And President Biden has the capacity to fix this and solve this. We, we know how to stop these kinds of protests on campus where people don't feel safe leaving their dorm room and heading to a meeting or to Hillel or to wherever they're going to their synagogue. That, that's deeply un-American, dangerous, and we ought to get after it right now. And the federal government absolutely has a role in it. And the president also has uh, the ability to speak out against it. He's got the biggest megaphone in the world and uh, <laughs> hasn't used it yet, so we'll be watching. Former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, thanks for being here. Appreciate it.